hey everyone welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel my name is miss tamika i upload videos once a week which is sunday and then i also throw in bonus videos throughout the week and with that being said you all i am here to do a louis vuitton bag review you all so yeah y'all it's been about two years since i had this bag so of course i want to get back on here and share my my likes and dislikes regarding this particular bag so if you're here for the review i know what y'all need to do y'all need to go ahead and click on that subscribe button you all because it really really it really really helps out my channel and with that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this here bag review what I'm talking about is the bowie i'm not sure if i'm saying it right most likely i'm not and if i'm not i'm sorry but i'm gonna just show you the bag so it's this here i am talking about back when i showcased this bag um leather on this particular bag did not come pre-treated like my uh recent birthday purchase i can't think of the name but that bag came pre-treated this one was raw leather so i started wearing my birthday bag of course like crazy and then I was like, you know what, let me switch it out because I want to darken a little more than what it was because it was raw leather. So, I did spray this bag with Apple Guard because if y'all don't know about Apple Guard, Apple Guard protects your bag from like rain or bad weather or whatever the case is. And it also helps to evenly um, patina your bag. Bag with Apple Guard. I do get my Apple Guard off of Amazon and I will link it. For you all down below if you are interested or if you never heard of apple guard like i say use at your own risk when i use apple guard i don't have any issues or problems just want to say i use apple guard and i haven't had any issues so please make sure you do your research before you do use apple guard like i said i feel comfortable using it but again, if you new to Apple Guard, please do your research because I do not want nobody blaming Miss Tamika. So anyway, as you can see, the bag did darken a whole lot. I'm not sure if the lights are washing it out. So what I may do at the end of this video is take a picture so you can see how the bag uh, darkened. Y'all, when I tell you it's the perfect, perfect honey color, I am in love with this hair dark and leather like i will show you what the actual treated leather looks like compared to my bag like i stated my birthday bag did come pre-treated so i think you can kind of see the darken of the leather so it is a lot darker than my actual bag so i guess my bag will you know get darkened within time with that so i just wanted to compare the um, leather my bag my first birthday bag versus my newest this one looks a lot darker well it is a lot darker and you may think miss tamika your bag ain't dark and it did because this was like real raw leather if you are familiar with louis vuitton um raw leather do y'all know i noticed i had this here on the back now on this particular side I do notice it's not as dark and I do have some marks on here not sure how they got there um, not sure if it can be wiped off since this is my first time seeing this I probably will take these um, water wipes that I got from Target and try to wipe the bag down but if not it's okay because it's on the handles so um, I'm not really I'm not really tripping regarding that because like when i first got my louis vuitton it was just like oh my gosh i gotta baby this bag but i feel like the amount of money that i pay that we pay for these bags ain't nobody got time to be baby and then don't get me wrong i don't just throw it around and toss anything in my bags but i don't baby them like i did back when i first first got my bag like i used to make sure my hands was clean far as oils or whatever now i did not put lotion on so my hands are ashes only because I am doing filming this video and I know I'll be touching my bag and I didn't want to you know transfer oils or whatever but majority of the time I put lotion on and just grab my bag and go now I will make sure I wait a few seconds for the lotion 
to um, dry down I decided to do this video is because in case you are in the market for this particular bag because uh, when I purchase bag I don't purchase the most expensive bag or the kind of like high-end off of Louis Vuitton I get kind of 2000 and under if I can and these here are one of the bags that's more affordable if you get what I'm saying is that the price is still the same regarding this particular bag I think I don't know when I purchased this bag how much it was I will have to double check if I can find the actual price I will leave it across the screen I know I pay under 2000 or a little over 2000 with tax this bag you can carry it two ways you may can carry more but I only carry it two ways and the first way I carry it majority of the time is crossbody I'll take this bag and throw it on and toss it to the back like so and go to work and you know hands free and comfortable this strap is not the most comfortable strap if you are that type of person that carries everything but the kitchen sink and that's me if I carry a bag like this size I'm putting everything in it to downsize on what I put in this particular bag because after a while the strap starts starts to bother me not to the point where I don't want to wear the bag but it do get a little uncomfortable when I'm wearing this particular bag and then I get like this is because I'm about to I'm taking it out of my car and putting it inside of a cart or something like that but when I'm shopping it's straight crossbody like straight crossbody because I gotta be comfortable like I ain't got time to be doing this and be Mm -mm. Miss Tamika got to be comfortable. So I love the fact that it has a strap because when I first bought my Speedy, um, back when I bought my Speedy, the Speedy Bandolier just came out in YouTube videos. And that's what made me purchase the one with the strap. It was a little more, but at the end of the day, you all, it was worth every penny. Like every penny. Because these hair bags that you carry in the crook of your arm, they can get so un that's why i had to rethink my dream bag which was a birkin and after carrying the speedy and my other like handheld bags i'm like me personally i don't think i want to invest in a birkin anymore to like a kelly i think that's what they are the kelly crossbodies now that would be something i would like would look into but far as the actual birkin now if someone gifts a birkin to me that's a totally different thing but for me to spend my coins absolutely not because i can see i can see with that particular bag i would get tired of carrying it and i know it's like a luxury luxury like a high-end luxury bag and you may not want to carry it every day but if i spend that kind of money i want to carry that bag like every day if i can if you get what i'm saying um it do come with your louis vuitton lock and it has louis vuitton and louis vuitton on the back now it's but i feel like the locks are a lot better than the locks that I had back in the early 2000s when I first purchased my Speedy because y'all that Speedy lock is horrible like I didn't clean this so many times I just left it as is the keys even tarnished like that lock is so bad again that was back when when did I purchase my first bag I think in 2012 or 2010 I don't know the exact date but it was way back when back when louis vuitton speedies were no more than 12 under 1500 and you know they are not that anymore the fact that my lock is still shiny and nice because like i said that speedy lock is horrible wish this bag would have at least had four feet at the bottom because i feel like when you sit it down it wouldn't touch the ground like when i throw it in my locker not that the locker is dirty i would just like to have feet on my bag now i do like my birthday bag because it do have feet but this particular bag don't if you can add feet to your bag that's something i may look into because if it's something that's not that expensive i wouldn't mind adding four feet to this here particular bag because i feel like it will just make the bag even better get caught in the rain with this particular bag a few times because i don't know for some reason it's just when the rain like almost every day here in georgia like i'm in florida that might be a sign because i do want to move to florida get caught in the rain um this here i did notice it's a lot darker than the straps i'm not sure if you can see it because for some reason i think it's focusing on me so here is the bag like i said the 
this hair part did darken a lot more than these straps you do have your puffy little i don't know what is strap holders i think this is how the new speedies look like i said i have the older version of the speedy so here on the back you have nothing triple strap which i do love a whole lot so with this strap being detachable, I can see if you want to, you can purchase like a thicker strap. But like I said, I would never, not never, but I'm not interested in purchasing a Louis Vuitton strap because they are kind of expensive. And to me, the price of a strap, I can purchase like a, a little small accessory or something. Now I did see that they had some straps for like five something. So I was like, okay, they were kind of cute. So I don't know how they would look against this particular bag. I will spend five something for a strap if I can use it on different bags. Like I don't want to just buy it just for one bag. So if I can get multiple use out of that particular strap, then that's something I may look into. The strap off, but I'm going to take the strap off to show you. You do have your here. You have Louis Vuitton here at the bottom. This here is um, adjustable. You can make it long or short. I usually keep it on the last hole because I don't need for it to be any longer because it fits perfectly on my body. That it has this here to keep the strap in place because nobody wants to have a strap that's like flipped up or like, you know, even across the board, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I didn't take this little plastic off. I mean, I don't know. It's not doing anything, and it's keeping the part where it's really shiny, so I didn't feel the need to take it off. But, of course, within time, I will be taking it off. Now, a little flimsy to me, but it's not flimsy to the part to the point where it's going to come off. So, And, you know, Louis Vuitton is known for their um, smooth zippers. One con on this particular bag, I do wish that the inside was that microfiber material like my birthday bag. Because I just feel like, it, I just feel like since these bags are not leather, I just wish they would give you those little luxury features in these particular monogram bags. Like microfiber inside, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Because if you see with this bag, it has the microfiber and i just feel like it just elevated the bag a little more and the price was kind of the same with this particular bag for this particular bag you have the four feet something that sold me on this bag the fact that it had the feet and the microfiber so like i said it's not leather but i do like the fact that they added those features so i just feel like with this one you could have did the same thing but everything but the kitchen sink in this here bag and this is why it's kind of heavy so i'm gonna share what's in my bag because you can't do a bag review without sharing what's in your bag so i'm gonna just pull things out i don't have something where i can sit my bag because for me when i do a bag review i need to see the bag while you're pulling things out because when people do videos like this and be pulling stuff out i'm like okay can i see the bag too so this is why I'm going to hold it. Let me see. Do I have something that I can sit it on? All right. So I don't have nothing I can sit it on. But me holding it, it's not too bad. So I'm going to a time while it. I did pull this out because I was using my um, I was using my Chanel wallet that I got when I was back home. But I put my Chanel to this. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to wear this particular wallet. This is the one with the pink interior. And you do have a slot for your cash. I'm gonna carry cash, and if I do, it's under twenty dollars. So, but now I don't have no cash. Um, a slot for six cards, and you have a spot back here for more cards, and you also have a slot for coins. I don't normally put coins in here. If I do, it's maybe a few uh, coins. So. I do have this. I want to go to the Louis Vuitton store to take a lot of my things down to get hot stamped. So I have this here particular wallet, Gucci key pouch. Because I had the Louis Vuitton, y'all, but I was not happy with the Louis Vuitton one. So I ended up taking that back and then I got this um, key pouch because I felt like the quality was a lot better than that particular uh, Louis Vuitton that I had. She. Uh, card case 
pull out my Gucci card case because I have time and it's the bright yellow. I just wanted to pull her out because I have a lot of cards where I can actually use a full size. But I don't know. I've just been loving smaller wallets and a full size wallet. I have been looking but not sure which wallet I want. So no rush. But yeah, I am using my Gucci card case. I have my L'Occitane Cherry Blossom Lotion. A fingernail file. Target receipt. I did go to Target the other day, you all. I got some cute stuff at Target. I had got like this little retro TV where you can hold your iPhone. Little toast. It was like a toast where you could sit your phone on. I'll probably insert pictures so you can see what I'm talking about. It was like in the dollar section of my Chanel blotting sheets, y'all. These here really, really work. Like when I got off for of work, I just took and blot blotted my face and oh my gosh you all this really 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 works so and you know with the summer done hit georgia you need something to blot your makeup because you don't want to use a tissue because of the fact that the tissue will kind of like disturb your makeup and uh sheets it don't disturb your makeup at all so just to let you know if you don't want to invest in these particular chanel blotting um blotting sheets i do recommend the sephora ones and the tatcha uh blotting sheets uh glossier lotion honestly you all i just got it because of the cute packaging can't go nowhere without my airpods i'm that person that's always always on the phone and i have my hand sanitizer i carry my touchland but since we sell it at sephora I don't want them scratching the T or P on it. So that's why I don't carry it in my bag. But I do carry it in my car. Some gum. I took the mints out. And I just placed my gum in here. Because I buy like the bag of gum. And I just pour some in here. Because you know when you at work up in people's faces. Your breath got to be on point. <laughs> so you know I got to make sure I smell good. Look good. Act bad. That's my new song for the summer. Let me see. I have another receipt. I think this is a Sephora receipt. Yeah. And I have a Chick-fil-A mint. Y'all, every time I go to Chick-fil-A, I grab a handful of these. I'm sure I'm not the only one because these are the best mints to me. Like, oh my gosh, I love these mints. Like I said, I don't grab like a whole lot, but I do grab like a nice little handful. Maybe like four or five or six. So I have my keys. And then last, y'all, I have my Marc Jacobs pouch. I decided to pull this out because I had like, I don't know, when I was getting my bag checked, I was just like, oh my gosh, why is my stuff all in this bag like this? I was like, okay, Tamika, you got to get it together. So I was like, let me grab something small because I got my Gucci one and that made my bag too heavy. So I was like, let me just pull this little Marc Jacobs out so I can use it. So I have my um, Charlotte Tilbury. Um what is it the setting powder in the color three here laneige lip gloss y'all i did get this from the cosmetic company store put on my lips but i don't want to mess up the wine so yeah i did get this from the cosmetic company store because this hair is very expensive and at the cosmetic company store it was at a good price people like miss tamika what is that this is what i carry my tylenol in thank god knock on wood i don't take any other medication like that so the only thing i keep in here is my is some tylenol because every so often i'll get a headache i don't know if it's more of a coffee headache or just sometimes i'm hungry headache but i like to keep tylenol my next item which is this here y'all know i always talk about this this here i got from target I love this here silver applicator when applying it because it just feels so cooling on the lips. MAC lip lipstick because I think I wore it one day to work and I threw it in my bag to be able to reapply. This here I remember it was so hard for me to find. This was at the container store and I finally found this for the bigger one. And it was crazy because when I was looking for this all I saw was the bigger one. I wanted this now. I want the bigger one. They don't have it. I don't know if they just discontinued this whole thing um, in general. They got one, but like I said, I was looking for the bigger size. I was looking for the bigger one just to put like band aids in there, 
whole wipes, Q-tips and stuff. So, you know, when I need it, I can just grab it, but it's okay. This hair came from YSL, y'all. I was so happy when she gave us this hair YSL mirror. Like, it's really nice. It has weight to it. It kind of reminds you of lipstick lipstick mirror where it's just like focus on your lips if you're trying to reapply your lip like the way it's made this is everything that i have in this particular bag um like i said because my bag was just looking crazy and i was just like tamika if you don't get it together go home and find you some stuff so you can organize your bag or target receipt because i had to do a return shirt but i don't know it wasn't it was just too plain for me. But it was cute, but it was too plain. This is the inside of my bag. I guess I just have like um my nail. I don't know what just happened, but the um camera just shut off. So I just have like some cards and my Louis Vuitton bag information. Keep that in here because you know they don't have the date code anymore, I think. I don't know if the date code is somewhere on here now. I don't know, y'all. I haven't done my research, but I do know that the date code is not in the bag like it used to be. Corners and all of that. And then here, I just have a bunch of coupons and stuff that's here. The two patch pockets here. And then you also get a full-size pocket on this side. And last but not least, y'all, I do have my iPhone. I had it on the side. Let me tell you really quick. TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they have iPhone, when I have the 14 Pro Max, they have cases for that. And let me tell you, this case made case I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I think I paid like under 20 And this case is like over $50. That's why I was saying before from my iPhone 10 I said I will not purchase I will not purchase a whole bunch of cell phone cases anymore because of the fact that I had so many iPhone cases when I had the iPhone 10 that once I upgraded I couldn't do nothing with my cases and I was just like you know what and I spent money on those different cases and I was just like you know what moving forward I am not doing that no more so just wait and catch them at TJ Maxx and sure enough they're at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Now, I don't know if that means that Apple is coming coming out with a new phone. I don't know. But, yeah. And put everything back in here so y'all can see how this bag looks on me. In any particular way, I just put everything in here. Probably do without that big wallet, but I don't know. I have smaller Louis Vuitton wallets. Because... Like I said, when this bag is heavy, it bothers my shoulders. Here's the bag full. Like I said about this bag is the fact that you that it comes with the strap. You can carry it two different ways. Cross body, shoulder. Well, you can carry three ways. I don't normally carry my shoulder bags on my shoulder. Like I never do. You're for somebody to snatch it off your shoulder or to each his own. Shoulder bags, strap bags for me, I carry them strictly cross body strictly crossbody are in a crook of your arm if you're looking to purchase your very first louis vuitton um to me if you had to pick from a speedy or this particular bag i probably would recommend this even though i know a speedy is a classic i feel like everybody has a speedy like everybody even the narrow four when i tell you i have seen so many um speedies back then back when i had my speedies and never falls i think now what is that bag the louis vuitton matisse is that what it's called oh my gosh when i tell you that's all i see like that's all i see that bag is cute but it just wasn't a bag that i would purchase that bag i see everybody that comes in our store with that particular bag this one i see every so often not as much but like I said, if you not sure between this or Speedy, I feel like I would go with this over the Speedy because of the fact that it's more of a newer bag. Well, you do get the lock on the Speedy as well. You do get the strap. That's if you purchase in the Speedy with the strap. Now, um, Speedy by itself, you know, if you pay a few dollars more, well, not a dollars, but a few hundred dollars more, you can get the strap um, along with the bag 
over a speedy not that i don't like the speedy i just i don't know i just like the shape of this bag and i just feel like it's just it's a lot newer even though they did upgrade the speedies um i do notice that like i think it was like a small speedy i did notice that the zippers like come all the way down to the sides kind of like this i just like this bag now the speedy you would get more of a slouchy like a slouchiness uh with the speedy this one you have more of a structure uh a structure look on this particular bag because i do notice if you don't carry like a base shaper or a organizer your speedy will like slouch really bad but again i don't mind that because i don't know it's just i just like that on my speedy much because back when i had my back when i purchased my speedy i was into bigger bags so i do have the speedy 30 and when i carried when i pulled it out one day i was like oh my gosh this is so big like i wish back then i would have gotten the 25 because i feel like that's more of my speed but that would be forever that would be a bag that will always stay in my collection like that bag has went through hell and back bag that went through the world and back but again it was like one of my first louis vuitton purchases it's not that many the only the few cons on this particular bag like i said i do wish it had four feet the inside was the microfiber instead of the fabric instead of having this long patch pocket it would have been nice if they would have put a zipper in here instead of the pocket but that's just me being picky um but like i said it's not too many cons you all because honestly i do love this bag don't carry a lot of stuff this bag is very very comfortable to use when you go shopping uh, i will wear it when i'm out sometimes i will carry the bag like this would carry it like so but when i'm out and i'm shopping um, i'm shopping when i'm out if i'm not at work i carry it like this how i carry it when i'm out shopping and i'll just toss it to the back and make sure it's zippered so I can just do what I need to do. Like I said, um, as long as you don't carry everything but the kitchen sink, you're good. Because the strap is nice and thick. person that will carry everything. So that's why I did have to downsize the things that I had in here. Because like I said, it did bother me as um, far as the strap. But like I said, this is how I carry my bag. So it's easy to get into. Like when I'm paying for something. Or I don't have to worry about constantly taking my keys out because long as my key is on me, I can just get inside of my car, which is another plus because like I said, I don't have to take my keys in and out of my purse other than for me to unlock my door. So if you're in the market for a new Louis Vuitton, I hope this review was able to help you because like I said, I do love this bag a whole lot. I'm glad I started wearing it because like I said, the leather the darken you all with that being said i am in love with this bag i highly recommend this bag i do get this bag two thumbs up i don't regret purchasing this bag a whole lot that's all i can say so if y'all enjoyed this here uh review please give this video a big thumbs up you all because it really helps out my channel and also before you go please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be wet notify each week that's right each week your girl uploads videos and until next time and there will be a next time i will talk to you later bye